welcome. You're watching this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange. We'll bring you the results of the Sea Voter Rajasthan Opinion Poll. The first time you'll get a sense of which way the vote share and seat share numbers for this crucial battleground state are stacking up. Har boot par Kamal khila kar ke rahenge. Prime Minister declares state of war Rajasthan. In logo mein ahankar kut kut kar bhara hua. Breaks up red diary to target Gelot. Aapne lal diary ke baare mein suna hai na? Suna hai na? कहते हैं इस लाल डायरी में कांग्रेस सरकार के काले कारनामे दर्ज है कैन प्राइम मिनिस्टर बूस्ट बीजेपी परफॉर्मेंस चीफ मिनिस्टर फाइट्स रिबिलियन एंड रिवोल्ट इज गहलोत्स ग्रॉप राइजिंग चुनाव आ रहे इसलिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी को जनता आज सिग्नल दे चुकी है स्पीकर के अंदर तो जनता समझ गई है और आने वाले वक्त में उनको लाल झंडी दिखा दी जाएगी विल क्राइम्स अगेंस्ट वेमेन हर्ट गे लॉट फर्स्ट ओपिनियन पोल ऑन राजस्थान पोलिटिकल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज Let's get started with this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange. We'll bring you the Rajasthan opinion poll numbers. I want to give you a sense first up of the methodology used by C Voter in putting this opinion poll together. This is a face-to-face -face survey. 14,085 is the sample size. Uh, the survey was conducted between the 26th of June and the 25th of July. So that's a long window in which this poll was conducted. Uh, 25 Lok Sabha seats and 200 Assembly constituencies have been polled in this survey. Let's get started. Question number one on the C Voter opinion poll for Rajasthan: How satisfied are you with the state government in Rajasthan? Uh, 39% of the respondents say they are satisfied with the performance of the Ashok Gehlot government. 36% saying they are satisfied to some extent. 24% saying they're not satisfied at all. The next question is about the chief minister's performance and how satisfied people are with the chief minister's performance. To this, 41% say they are very satisfied with Ashok Gehlot's performance. That's 2% higher individual popularity in comparison to that of his government. 35% say they are satisfied to some extent. 21% say not satisfied at all with the performance of Ashok Gehlot. Contrast this with the performance. Of the Prime Minister and the perception around the promise performance of the Prime Minister, 55% saying they are very satisfied with Prime Minister Modi, 27% saying satisfied to some extent, 17% saying not satisfied at all. What do they think about the work of the central government? 45% saying very satisfied. Remember, that's 10% less than those who said they are satisfied with the central government, with the prime minister. 45% saying they like the central government in general. 32% saying satisfied to some extent. 21% saying not satisfied at all. With that, let me introduce you to our guest. I want to begin by introducing Rajdeep Sardesai, my colleague and India's foremost political commentator. With us also Rahul Shrivastav, our national affairs editor. We've got with us in the studio Shahzad Punawala from the Bharatiya Janata Party. With us for perspective from Rajasthan, we've got Aaj Tak's bureau chief Sharad Kumar, the India Today magazine uh, senior deputy editor Rohit Parihar joins us, and for a perspective from the Congress, we've got Rohan Gupta. Now, very interesting there, Rajdeep. Gehlot's popularity a little bit more than that of his government, but dwarfed in comparison with the popularity of the prime minister, whose individual popularity is 10 percent more than that of his government. You know, it's very interesting, uh, Rahul. Before this show, I was just speaking to a BJP leader from Rajasthan and asking him what happens to Vasundha Rajay. Are you going to project her? He said, "Why do we need Vasundha Rajay? We have Prime Minister Modi." This election will be Prime Minister Modi versus Ashok Gehlot, and I think these numbers bear it out. I think in the 
Hindi heartland states, the BJP barring Uttar Pradesh is always tempted to use Prime Minister Modi as their calling card. He is the face, he is the mascot. And I think therefore this survey only proves what some BJP uh, analysts or strategists are saying. We don't need to project someone before the election. We are the opposition party. We can take on uh, Mr. Gaylord using anti On that issue, by I just want to tell our Modi. viewers that I had a three-hour conference call with our uh, local agencies and stringers in Rajasthan, across the 33 districts of Rajasthan. And they were saying, Rajdeep, that Vasundra is indeed a force, that you cannot dismiss her, that if uh, she's not projected, there will be consequences for the BJP. So while, of course, the Prime Minister's uh, popularity overrides all else, the Vasundra factor cannot be discounted either. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not discounting the Vasundra factor. I think she is definitely a plus factor for the BJP. I'm only going by what your poll is saying. Your poll is clearly showing Mr. Modi's popularity is well above that of his party. So the BJP actually needs Mr. Modi to really drive home the advantage. This is not a double engine election for them because they're not in power in Rajasthan, unlike in Madhya Pradesh, where they will have to face the anti-incumbency of a Shivrat Singh Chauhan. That's the difference. No doubt Vasundra is the most popular leader even today within the BJP. And, but whether the BJP will go into an election with her as the face or simply her as one of the faces of the party is the big question. And I think this poll will suggest that the BJP is putting most of its eggs in Mr. Modi's basket for now. We asked the question, how satisfied are you with the performance of Asundra Rajay Sindhya? Opinion seems very divided. 26% saying they were very satisfied, 27% saying they were satisfied to some extent, 39% saying not satisfied at all. Now that is the million dollar question, Shahzad Punawala, in Rajasthan. Do you project your former chief minister? Do you go without projecting her? Is that a risk? Can she do what B.S. Yadurappa did in Karnataka, mar the party's chances to some extent? Or can pinch hitter Modi hit it out of the park without needing another batsman? First of all, I want to say that apart from Yashwan Deshmukh's survey, I think the fact that Rahul and Rajdeep are so keen to know our chief ministerial candidate shows that you have confirmed that our government is coming 100%. Therefore, I thank you for that conclusion. Secondly, Ra Rahul and Rajdeep, you have covered Bengal elections. We did not have government there or chief minister there. Did we project a phase there? Delhi elections, we have not had a government there. We Did we project a phase there? Wherever we have not got a sitting chief minister, whenever we fight those elections, the trend is that we go for the election, our elected MLAs and the parliamentary party board, party parliamentary board, decide when we win the elections. So I think that program or that format will be continued. But today the main contender... With, with one exception, uh, Mr. Punawala, uh, 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 Vasunda Rajay has been chief minister twice in Rajasthan. So she's not some unknown quantity. Have, and when I look at the, in the survey, According to you, should the BJP project a CM no. face in Rajasthan? BJP supporters, 61 percent, are saying yes. I'm coming to that in just a moment. Okay. Okay. Ah, but so, Rajdeep, but just let me complete. Rajdeep, I said, do we have a current government in Rajasthan? Do we have a sitting chief minister? Let me tell you today, Rajdeep, everyone is talking about this. This is the red diary. That's the lal diary that's missing. This is Shata, the red diary. It? Is that the answer to well, the mystery? Uh, well, the real red diary and its pages are with Mr. Gelo. So you made up your own diary. That's what Gelo is saying. Ye khud bana hui black hai. deeds of Mr. Gelo are all there, and people of Rajasthan are today asking that how many paper leaks have taken place and why are the main accused of the paper leaks with Rahul Gandhi, Kopal Kesavar? Why is it that Salman Khurshid is defending the mastermind of the paper leak cases, which is Mr. Suresh Dhaka? Today, unbelievable corruption, breaking of promises. They said that they will give Kisan Karj Mafi. 19,000 farmers lost their lands. Highest unemployment rates okay. in Rajasthan. These are the issues that people are grappling with. And on the other hand, when Mr. Modi has been delivering for Rajasthan, nine medical colleges, we have made it 35. We have given over three and a half crore people bank accounts. 13,000 okay. crores have been transferred into their accounts. 80 lakh toilets have been built. 75 lakh farmers have got 10,000 crores. This is Modi ji's guarantee so for the Rajasthan. Big question for for the BJP is should they project Vasundhara Rajay? The big question for the Congress is on whose face should the Congress contest? Sachin Pilot has been asking the question, Apna time kab aega? Uh, let's take a look at the responses to this question. 41% of the respondents in this C voter poll say 
the Congress should contest with Ashok Gehloot as its face. 30% say Sachin Pilot should be the face. And if I look at the same question and break it down under Congress and BJP supporters, you will then get a sense of how amongst the Congress supporters, more people want Ashok Gehloot to be the chief ministerial face. 55% of Congress supporters saying they want Ashok Gehloot. Only 28% of Congress supporters want Sachin Pilot. So amongst Congress supporters, Rahul Srivastava, Sachin's, Sachin's popularity is less than his overall popularity. And that is his biggest dharam sankat. See, Rahul, uh, over the last uh, five years, Gehloth has been able to do one thing. He has managed to push Sachin Poilet to a point that Sachin has virtually nothing left. And the people in India, the voters, sense these things, that how influential a person is. They will bet their, uh, put their bets on a horse which they think can emerge ahead of the other one. So Ashok Gehloth has... Anyway, the basic dialogue going around in Rajasthan is ki what Ashok Gehloth has done to Sachin Pilot is what Ajit said in a movie. Ki isko liquid oxygen mein dal do, liquid jine nahi dega, oxygen marne nahi dega. That's the kind of thing that Congress leaders themselves are talking about in Rajasthan today. Now, in that scenario, since Sachin, though Sachin does command a certain area, uh, especially the Dundad area, where, uh, uh, the, uh, where uh, there is a sizable support for uh, Sachin, Beyond that area, in the four other regions, uh, Sachin is prob has a problem. Whereas, in one of the bigger regions, like uh, where Gehloth and Sachin and uh, are other, that is the Marwa region, where there are 61 seats, that's where lies Gehloth's strength. So Gehloth controls a wider territory. And that's the big problem, Rohan Gupta. From the Congress's perspective, you'd like to look beyond Ashok Gehloth. So many promises have been made by the Congress High Command to. Uh, Sachin Pilot, but even at this moment, Ashok Gehloth is, according to the Sea Voter data, the bigger leader in Rajasthan, and more Congress voters would like you to fight the next election with Gehloth as your face. Rahul, uh, even before five years, the same question was asked to Congress party to declare the CM candidate. We never did that, and after that, now we are after four and a half years, your survey is showing that popularity of Gehloth is high. See, at the end of the day, Rahul, for us, for Congress party, it is what we promised to the people and what we delivered. This is the first government in the country which can release the compliance report to its manifesto. We have finished 83% of our promises. I dare BJP spokesperson to challenge that. This is the booklet which has been released. So my point here is just two days back, we have released subsidy to ensure that gas cylinder is available to people of Rajasthan at 500 rupees uh, per cylinder. So we talk about policies, we talk about performance, let people decide whom they want to wait, vote. They have voted Congress party in power four and a half years back. We have delivered the promises and it's upon people to decide. But at the same time, Rahul, I want to make one point very, very clear. Even before Karnataka elections, we were discussing the same point where the state leadership of BJP Karnataka was finished by central leadership because of their arrogance. Yedurappa was pushed to a particular uh, border and he was never allowed to go beyond that. But they Karnataka are going to is not the a Hindi heartland state. The popularity of the Prime Minister, his ability to connect with audiences, speak the language the citizens now, and voters understand is much higher in a state like Rajasthan than it is in Karnataka where in many parts people don't understand Hindi. Rahul, let me be very clear. Even when Karnataka election started, it was told that it will be in face of Mr. Modi, the election will be fought and won. What happened? I, I will deny with this report that, okay, he's more popular in Rajasthan compared to Karnataka. Karnataka, he was the face under which BJP fought the election and lost badly. You need to understand that the politics of country is changing now. Okay. People understand that state elections are for electing the CM and not PM. They know that okay. whatever Now the Congress is attempting make, some kind of a rapprochement between Gehloth and Pilot. What do voters think of this? Can this pact between Ashok Gehloth and Sachin Pilot prove to be a masterstroke was the sea voter question. Let me give you the responses to this. Now, uh, when the question was asked, can there be a pact? And also, if there is a successful pact, can it be a masterstroke? Now, uh, critical to this question is whether the pact actually holds. 45% say yes. 
if uh, it holds, it will prove to be a master stroke, 35% saying no, it will not be a master stroke, but whether the pact holds. And that's where I want to go across to Sharat uh, Kumar, our bureau chief in Rajasthan. दिखाने के लिए तो जो दोनों की लड़ाई है उसको खत्म कर दिया गया है सर कांग्रेस हाई कमांड ने बोला है कि आप लोग मिल के काम कीजिए क्या वाकई में दोनों के जो गिले शिकवे हैं वो दूर हो गए हैं या सिर्फ दिखा रहे हैं कि हमारी दोस्ती हो गई लेकिन पर्दे के पीछे एक दूसरे को काटने में अभी भी लगे हुए हैं राहुल मैं तो सोच रहा हूं कि वो कौन से 35 परसेंट है जो सोच रहे हैं कि दोनों के बीच वाकई में दोस्ती हो गई है जो भी राजनीति को जानने वाले हैं वो आ, सोच भी नहीं सकते हैं कि दोनों के बीच दोस्ती हो सकती है आ, ये स्थिति है आ, मिल भी नहीं सकते हैं दोस्ती की बात तो छोड़ दीजिए अभी तक मिल भी नहीं पाए हैं एक दूसरे से बातचीत भी नहीं कर पाए हैं तो ये दूरी इतनी ज़्यादा है कि ये संभव नहीं है और इसी की वजह से इस तरह के हालात हैं भी देखिए राजस्थान के सैनरियो की हम जो बात कर रहे हैं तो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की कर्नाटक चुनाव के बाद लगातार मैं रैलियां कवर कर रहा हूं भीलवाड़ा सिरोही अजमेर दौसा ये चार रैलियों में लोग बिल्कुल रिस्पांस नहीं कर रहे थे उसके बाद बीजेपी की रणनीति बदली है और बीकानेर रैली से जो उठाव शुरू हुआ है सीकर के रैली के कल का इतना ओवरवेलमिंग रिस्पांस था तो उस रैली के रिस्पांस को देखने के बाद मुझे लग रहा था कि किसी फेस की शायद जरूरत नहीं पड़े राजस्थान में क्योंकि मोदी अपने पूरे रंग में थे अब पहले अपने योजनाओं को गिना रहे थे और योजनाएं जब गिना गिना रहे थे तो पब्लिक ऊँग रही थी और यही हाल मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत की सभाओं में होता है अपनी योजनाओं को गिनाते हैं वो ऊँगती है पता नहीं योजनाएं लोग तो पहुँचती है नहीं पहुँचती हैं इस पर बात मैं ये कह रहा था कि हम लोग सेम ब्यूरो कॉन्फ्रेंस में थे और वहां पे तमाम स्ट्रिंगर से बात करके जो तस्वीर उभरी शरद वो ये कि काफी सॉलिड एंटी इनकम्बेंसी राजस्थान में इस वक्त दिख रही है जी बिल्कुल दिखाई दे रही है इसलिए दिखाई दे रही है कि देखिए मुख्यमंत्री अशोक मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत को शायद आपको याद होगा कि जब पहले कार्यकाल में हम चुनाव चुनाव में जा रहे थे उनके तो इंडिया टुडे ने उनको इस देश का बेस्ट सीएम करार दिया था और तब अपने इतिहास की दूसरी सबसे बुरी हार हारे थे क्योंकि अशोक गहलोत के खिलाफ कभी मैंने गुस्सा देखा ही नहीं दूसरी बार इतिहास के सबसे बुरी हार हारे किस पर तब भी जब में मिलते थे तो एक साल तो कहीं कहते थे कि हम क्यों हार गए कभी भी मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत के काम को लेकर और उनके फेस को लेकर नाराजगी नहीं रही है मगर कांग्रेस में जिस तरह से काम उनके कार्यकाल में होता है इतनी ज्यादा एंटी इनकम बेसी होती है अब बिजली को लेकर चारों तरफ अमा मचा हुआ है कि बिजली बिल में छूट दी जा रही है कितना ज्यादा सरचार्ज लग रहा है और बिजली आ भी नहीं रही है दूसरा पूरे देश में हल्ला हो गया कि राइट टू हेल्थ बिल पास हुआ पास हुए कितने दिन हो गए उसके नियम कानून नहीं बने आज तक तो ये सारे जो मसले हैं कि एक हवा बना लेना काम का और फिर वो काम पहुंचना नहीं इसलिए एंटी इनकम्बेंसी तो है देखिए वहां पर अगर जाते हैं तो प्रश्न नाराजगी okay. मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत से नहीं हो सकती और कभी नहीं रही है उनके तीसरे कार्यकाल में मैं देख रहा हूं कि उनसे कभी नाराजगी नहीं रहती है मगर उनके नेतृत्व में जो सरकार होती है दो बार सबसे बुरी हार आ रही है और इस बार कहा जा रहा है कि मुकाबला देने के लिए तैयार है मगर जो बात होती है फीडबैक मिलता है जमीन पर उसके अनुसार बीजेपी की स्थिति बेहतर है चेहरा हो चाहे नहीं हो मुझे लग रहा है कि बीजेपी के पास फीडबैक होगा हालांकि देखिए चुनाव में हम कहने कहने वाले कौन होते हैं किसकी बेहतर स्थिति है मगर जो फीडबैक हमें मिल रहा है उसके अनुसार मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत okay. के लोग जो बताते हैं कि उनको भी लग रहा है कि मामला टफ है राजस्थान में जी ओके वॉट्स दू ऑन द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द गहलोत गवर्नमेंट ऑन लॉ एंड ऑर्डर फोर्टी टू परसेंट ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्डेंट से हीजन गुड जॉब फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स इन दिस सी वोटर पोल से द गहलोत गवर्नमेंट हैज नॉट डिलीवर्ड ऑन लॉ एंड ऑर्डर सिक्सटी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द कांग्रेस वोटर्स थिंक हीज बीन गुड ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट थिंक हीज बीन बैड बट अमंग्स बी जे पी वोटर्स दो थिंक द परफॉर्मेंस इज बीन बैड इज नेचुरली मच हायर विल दीज पॉपुलर स्कीम्स वर्क बिकॉज दैट्स द गहलोत गवर्नमेंट्स बिग होप load the voters with freebies and maybe that will work 46% of the overall respondents say yes 45% say no rajdeep on the question of law and order it seems that more people think his government has fared badly and on the issue of populist schemes working opinion seems to be quite divided gehlot has a track record of leading his party to a disastrous defeat at the end of 5 years in power Yes, Rahul. The fact is, Ashok Gehlot's last five years. If we look at uh, his five years, you've got to divide it into two halves. The first three years were a complete disaster. Two and a half years. Why? Wiped out in the Lok Sabha elections, including his son uh, getting defeated. The Sachin pilot revolt takes place in 2020, 2021. Most of the country was battling COVID, 2020 and 21. 
Ashok Gehlot was hemmed in both within and outside for much of the first three years. I think the Gehlot government has really woken up post October when he actually, in a way, challenged the Congress High Command and said, I'm not going to become Congress President, I will stay on as Congress Chief Minister. In the last six to eight months, many of his schemes, which had even been initiated earlier, like Chiranjeevi, which according to me is a very good scheme, the health scheme, uh, but uh, the gas cylinder, minimum income uh, guarantee which he's just put out, uh, schemes for women, all of this has come generally in the last six to nine months. Therefore, what happens is that if once anti-incumbency has settled in, all you can do through, through these schemes is reduce it. And that's what the survey is showing. The survey clearly is showing that there are issues which Mr. Gelot, like law and order, remains vulnerable on. There are issues like a 500 rupee gas cylinder, which people are appreciating. But is it too little too late? Did the Congress hemorrhage in Rajasthan for much too long? And I believe that the real crisis, Rahul, is not so much Ashok Gelot personally. Most people you look at in, uh, in Rajasthan don't target Mr. Gelot the person. He's seen as relatively affable. But the MLAs, the MLAs have got away in Rajasthan with, dare one say, according to local sources, local level corruption. And that has not been stymied because Ashok Gelot was always conscious, if I take on the MLAs beyond a point, Will my government remain or not? So I think those first three years affected him, and he's tried to make a comeback in the last two years. I fear it may be too late. In this show, Shahzad's been holding up this uh, so-called Lal Diary, the Red Diary, which comes from Rajendra Gura. So there are two questions on that in this poll. One is, will the Gura episode harm the Congress? 58% of the respondents say yes. 40% say no. Should he have been sacked? Was this right? Was this wrong? 45% say yes, he should have been sacked. 46% say he shouldn't have been sacked. And what the BJP has done is they really run away with this issue. He actually comes from the BSP originally, so he's not really a Congress loyalist in that thing, way. One, one uh, uh, point, that he has not been kicked out of the Congress party even now. He continues to be in the Congress and he's not the only person. By the way, this Red Diary is not the only episode. Bharat Singh, an MLA, has written that the Khanan mining minister, the mining minister is the biggest mining mafia. And these issues of corruption have been going on in every department every year. In transfer posting, there was such a racket that when Govind Dutasara said to teachers that does racket take place, they said in front of his face, yes, it takes place. And even the other scams that have taken place, the paper leak scam is the biggest scam and Rajdeep needs to be counted on two points. See, Rajdeep, you said that he, Mr. Gehloth is managing his popularity. You know, right now, in managing the sense that popularity? after two and a half years, or these schemes are trying to make him look a little better than the first three years. Let me tell you, if Mr. Gehloth is so popular, then why is the Congress not declaring a sitting CM as their face for the campaign? You know, it is not just BJP versus Congress. It is BJP versus Congress versus Gehloth. Gehloth is on his pink poster coming out of the PR boxes. And that PR box is putting only him on the poster with a pink color. There is no Congress hand, no Congress neta, no Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi on it. So Mr. Gehloth is actually fighting even the Congress party. Rajendra and Gura, finally, uh, this episode, do you think Rohit Parihar will hurt the Congress? There are two things. We have the recency factor. This poll has happened at a time when this episode is just broken, so naturally it looks like a big issue. But in the longer run, given your understanding of uh, the history of Rajasthan politics, do you think Gehlot once again set to repeat history? Uh, see, the, given the recent history of uh, Rajasthan, you know, the way they keep changing the government, incumbent government, so it is a very, very uphill task for Ashok Gehlot. But I must say that, you know, compared to the last time when he finished with 21 out of 200, the situation is far better. If the elections are held today, you know, I would give him around 60 to 70 seats easily to Congress, which is a very good performance, you know, uh, before four months before that, you know. And he can, from here, he can, you know, take it a little better also. That means it could he is get in the worse. position I mean, where... It could get better, but it could get worse as well. Both things can yeah, happen. Yeah, I was about to say that, you know, the way Buddha uh, thing, you know, uh, Prime Minister has picked it up, but you know that people have a short memory. Unless uh, Centre backs it up with you know some conclusive investigation, people are going to forget this thing because Buddha himself hardly has any credibility. You know, uh, sometime he was you know he used to be loyalist to Kilo, then you know BSP before that, then uh, became a pilot supporter. So everybody knows his about his vested interest also. You know. So, and everybody is asking that, what were in income tax officials doing at that point of time? If actually Buddha went there and, you know, snatched diary from income tax officer or stole that, that what were the officers doing? Did they lodge a complaint? Sure. This is the, 
question so is asked to Virendra Singh the also. BJP's big hopes is that Prime Minister Modi going to Rajasthan will help them. So, Yashwan Deshmukh and his team asked this question in this poll, will the Prime Minister's visits help the BJP in Rajasthan? 61% of the respondents say yes, 30% say no. Then we come to that vexed question. Should the BJP project a chief ministerial candidate? 56% of the overall respondents say yes, the BJP should project a chief ministerial candidate. 30% say no. 62% of BJP supporters say the BJP should project a chief ministerial candidate. Only 28% of BJP supporters say no. Yashwan Deshmukh, this question and the response that has emerged seems to suggest BJP voters would like a chief ministerial candidate. But when I look at the other question about the performance of Asundra Rajay, 39% say they're not satisfied at all. In this scenario, is your poll looked at purely statistically seeming to suggest that there should be a chief ministerial candidate outside Mrs. Rajay? Well, I think, Rahul, that all the elections uh, now in India, people do expect uh, to see the face that they feel uh, is going to form the government, they are going to vote for who is going to head the government. So for all, uh, you know, Theoretically speaking, we are we are following the Westminster model. For practically speaking, the Indian electorate is pretty much in the presidential uh, form of mindset as far as the voting intent is concerned. So uh, if they are asking majority of them that they, they need clarity on who is going to be the chief minister, it is a justified, uh, uh, you know, way of saying the things. Uh, uh, but as far as the BJP is concerned, it's a kind of a dilemma because uh, I think Vasundara Rajay still remains the most popular BJP face uh, we're within the BJP, but somehow... Okay, so let me show that question to the viewers. I haven't shown that data set yet, so let me just do that for a moment. Who is the most popular face of the Bharatiya Janata Party? When Yashwant and his team asked this question, here is what the responses look like. 36% of the respondents uh, say Vasundra Rajay should be the chief ministerial face. Gajendra Shekhawat comes in at a distant nine, one-fourth the popularity of the former chief minister. Uh, none of these uh, is 33%. Arjun Meghwal is 7 And I want to look at what the responses are amongst uh, BJP supporters. So there isn't much of a difference. If you look at BJP supporters, 37% of the BJP supporters want Vasundra Rajay. Uh, the rest of them have very, very marginal numbers. So that's, that's the way the data looks like. Rajdeep, how would you be decoding this? So they don't think she's done a good job. 39% uh, say she hasn't been effective, yet they think that she's the number one choice. You see, the fact is this is an election taking place with Ashok Gelot as the chief minister. Vasundha Rajay was the chief minister five years ago. So when you ask this question, people are not going to judge Vasundha Rajay in the manner in which they would have judged her five years ago. You will remember five years ago what was the slogan uh, uh, in, in Rajasthan. Modi tujse bear nahi, Vasundra teri khair nahi. There was anger against Vasundra Rajay's government. Just as at the moment there seems to be anger against Ashok Gelot's MLAs. Vasundra Rajay, the individual, remains, I believe, very popular, particularly in comparison with other BJP leaders. You see, many of this is also done. You also look for who else is there. One of the difficulties that the BJP has had in Rajasthan, and to some extent the Congress, is that they don't have the next generation ready. At least the Congress could claim that Sachin Pilot possibly in the next decade is the next generation leader. Who is the BJP's next generation leader? For 20 years, Vasundha Rajay has towered over all else with all others within the BJP. So naturally, as the poll shows, she's the most popular. But a government, particularly in 2018, was not seen as a popular government and Vasundra suffered as a result personally. So for all her high popularity, she was not able to offset anti-incumbency. Let's be clear, Rahul. Since 1993, barring Bhairo Singh Shekhawat that year, where he won a, uh, 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 when he was re-elected, that too with independent supports in the aftermath of the Babri Masjid demolition, no government has been re-elected in Rajasthan. So Ashok Gelot is fighting history in a way when he's going to the polls this time. Uh, but Rajdeep, the I want to ask about two elections, 2013 and 2018. Can you tell me the vote difference between BJP and Congress in 2018? Where no. you say there was a great anti-incumbency against Vasundra. We were only 0.5% behind them. One second. And in the election in 2013, where Ashok Gehloth got routed with 21 seats and we won 163 seats, well, that is now you're saying that Ashok Gehloth okay. only faces a so, little bit anti-incumbency. It's against his MLAs. So Rahul, this kind of double standard should not Rahul, be there. Secondly, I want to make a point here. See, I think what we are, what Rajdeep is saying, 
what is happening that the BJP wanted to remove Vasundhara Raje. Uh, there is, it's not just what Vasundha Theri Khairni, there is a personality issue also. The current BJP does not like leaders of the kinds of Vasundhara Raje who act as regional satraps. Now in that what happened, first Karnataka loss and now, after that as surveys and internal assessments, Vasundhara's significance has risen. Now if you see what has happened in the last few days, in the last two PM visits in Seeker as well as the other, Vasundhara Raja has been praised by the Prime Minister. It has also happened that she has been given greater eminence. Then Amit Shah went to Rajasthan and he praised uh, Vasundhara Raja. Increasingly, I have seen Vasundhara Raja camp going easy. It's not pressurizing, muscle flexing that I am going to be X, Y, Z. A kind of a truce is coming, but BJP eventually is looking at a scenario where PM is the main template. Vasundra is also there to keep her happy because without her, it is no, difficult. No, but Vasundra would like to be projected as the chief minister. Yes, face. That, if you if you get her to work and somebody else becomes chief minister, she'll feel very see, short right now she is happy that she has come here because. Two months ago, she was in the wilderness. So she has graduated on to better things. She's attending a lot of functions. Her significance is understood, but people where well, BJP wants change. And that very, again, very interesting. The, what the BJP is doing to Prime Minister, if the Prime Minister as a template in Rajasthan succeeds in the assembly elections, in the close by uh, Lok Sabha elections, Prime Minister becomes a more prominent face in Rajasthan. And that's why very cleverly what Gehloth is doing, He's creating a Modi versus Gehlot battle in Rajasthan so that Vasundra is out. He's matching him on beneficiary policies, the schemes which he's announcing. No, but his popularity pales in comparison with that of the Prime yeah, Minister. Pales, so that's not a smart see, idea. In Rajasthan, when the vote happens, Ashok Gehlot, remember one thing, Rahul, one thing very interesting. Last time when we did a poll tracker, he was at the government was at 39 popularity, very satisfied. It is again 39. And that's the percentage of vote. The yeah. Congress got last time around. Okay, so there is something one consistent one. about uh, Okay, Gailo. So let's now come to the business end, end of this poll, which is the vote share and the seat share. I'll start by showing you the vote share projections done by Yashwan Deshmukh and his team at Sea Voter. This is the first uh, poll for Rajasthan. The Sea Voter projection for Rajasthan is that the Congress's vote share, in comparison with the 2018 Assembly elections, will be 2% more than last time. So 41% vote share projected for the Congress, which given the fact that you've got a government in power, your vote share going up 2% is not insignificant. It's a pretty solid performance. The BJP, though, getting a 7% bump in their vote share from the last time when it was 39, this time at 46 in a larger sense, signaling once again the growing bipolarity of our electoral process in the assembly context. So, uh, Congress's vote share up 2%, BJP's vote share up 7%, that gives the BJP a 5% gap. Now, no matter how Yashwant and his team convert the seats in a bipolar contest, a 5% gap between the one winner and the runner-up, Rajdeep would suggest, one just way just traffic, one line, just yes. One line before Rajdeep. You never no, let Rajdeep. No, no, please. No, 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 Rajdeep is in a magnanimous mood. Rajdeep will allow me. No, 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 one I, second, I please. No, my worry is if I don't let him speak, uh, speak, he will go on Twitter and say I was not allowed yeah, to speak. Yeah, yeah, so okay. no, you can't be scared of Shahzad Rajdeep. I am wasting time. I'm not allowing you to speak. All you. All you three hours, I know your strategy, but now let me tell you that 46% vote share that you're giving us is actually higher than the vote share we got in 2013, which was 45%. And at that time, we ramped home with 163. Rahul, with all due respect to Rahul Srivastavji, and he's an institution in himself, but sir, I go to Rajasthan every second week. The amount of anti-incumbency, particularly against Mr. Gehlot, especially on issues of youth and betrayal of the youth, paper leaks, etc., yeah. is astounding. The and therefore, the people, they are saying only one Nara in Rajasthan. Ye hai loot ki dukaan aur jhoot ka bazaar. Isko band karna hai. This is the Nara in Rajasthan. Yashwan Deshmukh, you know, seat projection is complex. Vote projection is very scientific because it's really from what you've picked up. A 5% gap for the BJP in vote share would suggest no matter how you divide it into seats, no matter what kind of uh, formulae you run, the BJP very clearly poised in the state of Rajasthan to come back to power from your data. Uh, well, Rahul, you are correct in your assessment. Uh, what is happening is now uh, the complete bipolarity that we have also seen in Karnataka. That bipolarity in Karnataka helped the Congress against, uh, uh, you know, riding the anti-incumbency wave. And this is what is happening in Rajasthan as well. 
I think the majority of the anti-incumbent votes, uh, 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 which were not in BJP kitty five years back, are kind of polarizing more for the BJP. Similarly, just like it did for the in favor of Congress in Karnataka. So, uh, uh, I, I mean, if, you know, in seats projection, Rahul, we are very conservative. So we will not do anything which would be like looking like a pendulum one way or the other. We 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 always maintain that vote share is something which That's is just which is style. The you know, he service likes to talk, bat like know. Rahul Dravid and not like Surya Kumar Yadav or yeah, Mahinder so, Singh Dhoni. So, okay. So I would just like to keep it like that. Yes, the five percent vote share gap is significant. What is happening is is I believe that a lot many smaller parties are going to be squeezed out in this process as an as an you know process starts further uh, deep into this territory. There okay. are significant regional variations as well, uh, Rahul. Uh, in Shekhavati, still Congress is maintaining in our survey a lead, very slender lead, but still they are maintaining a lead in Shekhavati. Uh, but in, in, in Mewar and Marwar, these are the two major regions where BJP is getting a significant lead over there. So let so, me come uh, now uh, to the seat share numbers, because that's what viewers are really interested in. It might be a pollster's nightmare, but that's where the mirch and the masala really lie. So here it is. For what it's worth, the vote share converted into seat share by the team at Sea Voter would suggest that the Congress could fall from 100 to 83. If this is indeed anywhere close to 83, it would still be Ashok Gehlot's best performance when he was up for re-election. Uh, the BJP up from 73 to 114, although it can be argued with a 5% vote share gap. The Yashwan Deshmukh, if he wasn't batting like Tahul Dravid and instead batting like uh, Surya Kumar Yadav, could have made this number bigger. He's chosen to be conservative. That's his style. We're going by his numbers. 41 seats gained over the last time. The BSP crashing from 6 to 0, others from 21 crashing to 3. So both the leading parties becoming stronger, relatively speaking, uh, in comparison with the third front and the others. Uh, Rajdeep, looking at the numbers very pensively, you want to jump in and say something? No, my, you know, looking at these numbers, if I was uh, the BJP, uh, I would be quietly satisfied. But if I was the Congress party, I would actually be clutching to some hope which seemed completely non-existent a year ago. Non-existent to the extent no, but that why most you people... Why are you imagining the ball can't swing the other way? This 83 look, can become 60, look, there are two become... ways this. If you remember 2030, uh, 2011, when Mr. Gelot was wiped out, I think he got just 21 or 25 seats, uh, the vote percentage of the Congress was 33%. There was a 12% gap at that time. Now you are saying, as per the survey, the gap is about 4%. Uh, presumably, Yashwan would... Uh, correct me, but it's about a 3% margin of error, I'm presuming. Sure. Given that the 3% uh, margin of error, it appears that Ashok Gelot, as per this poll, has made some kind of a comeback, both in terms of his personal popularity and the support for his various schemes like the gas cylinder at rupees 500. It gives the Congress some hope to cling on to, even as the BJP will believe that they all... As of now, this is the one state where they are in pole position. You, Unlike, can, you can read the data the other way around. You can interpret it whichever way you want. Because the uh, other way to look at the same sure. data is that once voters get a sense that it is inevitable that uh, the BJP is going to win and that Ashok Gehloth is on his way out because of the winner's bandwagon effect, more and more of the voters who are on the fence of veering uh, towards Ashok Gehloth and the Congress may jump towards the BJP and that 5% vote share gap could actually go up as you move from end July to November, December. With, with one small caveat, Rahul, Rajasthan is an interesting state that while it is bipolar or appears bipolar, some of these smaller parties have their uh, areas of influence which are very, very... The RLP, the BTP. The RLP, uh, the BTP. The, uh, 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 you know, independence. The BSP seats last time with uh, a lot of votes. I think they won something close to so you 13, have 14 percent no, so votes. So you'll have specific regions. You see, also in the caste mix and Rajasthan caste mix matters. If you look at Eastern Rajasthan, the role that the Gujar community plays is important significantly. In 2018, with Sachin Pilot as the president of the Rajasthan Congress, the Congress swept Eastern Rajasthan. Right. Now we don't know where Mr. You know what position Mr. Pilot will have in no, the Congress so that, strategy. That's where then... So all of this will matter, I think, in the next four or five months. It is a state where region-wise, the vote variation does take place. That's where campaign and momentum then becomes important. Sharad Kumar, you're on the ground. If you have 83, then the best performance of time will be in the re-election. If you have momentum, is it going to be that Gehlot Ji 
जो गैप है उसको कम कर पाएंगे या मोमेंटम इस तरीके से बन रहा है कि यह फासला और बढ़ सकता है बीजेपी और कांग्रेस के बीच अभी तक तो हम इसको पीक देख रहे हैं और कई लोग कह रहे हैं कि आज समय से पहले पीक पर कांग्रेस पहुंच गई है आ, लेकिन देखिए उसमें अगर आ, बिना किसी एनालिसिस की बात करें तो वसुंधरा राजे अगर नहीं बनती है फेस तो बीजेपी को 20 सीटों का असर पड़ सकता है अगर बीजेपी 140 आना चाह रही है तो 120 आ सकती है 120 आना चाह रही है सौ आ सकती है वसुंधरा राजे के सीएम फेस बनने से बीजेपी की सरकार बनाने पर असर पड़ेगा इसमें थोड़ा लोग संदेह व्यक्त कर रहे हैं क्योंकि वोटर अगर बीजेपी से पूछेगा वसुंधरा राजे को चाहते हैं तो कहते हैं हाँ अगर नहीं उनको फेस किया जाता है तो क्या बीजेपी को वोट नहीं देंगे तो कहते नहीं बीजेपी को तो वोट देंगे यहाँ अंतर कांग्रेस में है मैं तो सोच रहा हूँ कि इक्कीस परसेंट वो कौन लोग हैं कांग्रेस के जो सचिन पायलट को पसंद करते हैं क्योंकि तो हालत यह है कि विधायक मंत्री तो छोड़िए कोई अधिकारी और पत्रकार तक सचिन पायलट के घर जाना पसंद नहीं करता है कि क्या पता सरकार देख लेगी अगर इसके बाद भी इक्कीस परसेंट लोग अगर चाह रहे हैं तो समझिए कि इक्कीस परसेंट जो सचिन पायलट के चाहने वाले हैं वो क्या अशोक गहलोत को वोट देने जा रहे हैं कांग्रेस की कांग्रेस को विचारधारा से बंधी हुई पार्टी नहीं है वो नहीं देंगे आप मुझे जहां तक मैं कांग्रेस को जानता हूं तो ये समझना चाहिए जो राजदीप कह रहे थे कि स्टर्न बेल्ट में 40 सीटों का नुकसान हो सकता है और जो शेखावटी का इलाका हो या नागौर का इलाका हो तो सचिन पायलट एक फैक्टर है अगर इक्कीस जैसा कि अगर बता रहे हैं ये सर्वे में कि इक्कीस लोग चाह रहे हैं उनको सी फेज वो क्यों चाह रहे हैं क्योंकि वो हाशिए पर पड़े हैं और कांग्रेस में जो पावर में नहीं रहता उसको कोई पूछता नहीं है तो वो वो वोटर बहुत क्रूसियल है इसलिए कह रहे हैं कि अशोक गहलोत अगर सचिन पायलट के कंबाइंड फोर्स में नहीं आते हैं तो फिर ये जीतती हुई पार्टी नहीं दिखाई दे रही है भले ही काम के आधार पर अशोक गहलोत बहुत ज्यादा अपने आप को प्रोजेक्ट कर रहे हो क्योंकि जो बात कर रहे थे यशवंत देशमुख मेवाड़ और मारवाड़ अभी भी कांग्रेस के सबसे कमजोर स्थिति है हम जो स्टिंगर से बात कर रहे थे आप भी कर रहे होंगे आप भी कर रहे थे तो मेवाड़ और जो मारवाड़ का हमने रिजल्ट देखा उसमें बीजेपी बहुत अच्छा कर रही है और मारवाड़ जो है अशोक गहलोत का इलाका है तो निश्चित रूप से अशोक गहलोत सबको अच्छे लगते हैं अगर राजस्थान में जनता से पूछिएगा अब वो आ, उनको अच्छा नहीं लग रहा होगा बीजेपी के प्रवक्ता को लेकिन वोट कोई देने नहीं निकलता है मैं पिछले तीन तीसरे कार्यकाल से देख रहा हूं रोहित योर सेंस ऑफ द मोमेंटम योर सेंस ऑफ द मोमेंटम इज द मोमेंटम एज राजदीप इज सजेस्टिंग बिल्डिंग इन अ वे दैट गहलोत इज बींग एबल टू क्लोज द गैप एंड बिल्ड हिज पोजिशन और इज द मोमेंटम बिल्डिंग इन अ वे दैट विल बिकम वन वे ट्रैफिक इन फेवर ऑफ द बीजेपी the momentum is being built up another factor is you know there is not the smaller party it is more of the independent and rebels who you know normally are 20 to 30 mlas are always from independent or rebels in last two three four elections so that is a very crucial factor which cannot be assessed as of now you know these things take place only after the candidates are announced and when you say about momentum yes you know i personally feel if vasundhara raje is given more uh, prominence then definitely bjp is getting into some kind of momentum these days when we talk to bjp leaders also they also say that tempo is not being built up as of now you know pm is definitely very popular nobody can say but people also know that pm is pm you know he can't be the cm here and if bjp doesn't project to you know bring somebody in for the same problem happened with congress you know that is why because they didn't declare gehlot or pilot at that moment of time and so there was always lot of problem there Rohan so Gupta, from the congress's the... perspective the big concern as it looks like a ship adrift it could sail further away from the shore of victory i think round the way we are progressing towards election you will see that the way this government is performing we are delivering our results and people are responding two days back we delivered 155 crores subsidy for gas cylinders every day the schemes are coming up my point i i want to give two perspective the way bjp spoil karnataka i was there in karnataka for more than one one and a half months you know they don't like the strong leaders the politics of the country is changing people want the local leaders if you see overall bjp so across india you want them india, to project vasundhara you want them they to pro project vasundhara ji is that no, what you are saying i think they are weakest in see the polls are saying that they have to project vasundhara obviously they will not be able to i dare bjp spokesperson can he tell that they will project vasundhara no because in fighting in rajasthan in rajasthan is to such a strong and ask you can you say you will no, project no, gelot no, let, let me let me now let me you know sir. to take rohan gupta's point he mentioned karnataka and karnataka dk shivkumar and sidaramaiah work together yeah we yes, haven't see, just yes, see how they are working we, together right we now. haven't seen Thank that you. no no one minute we haven't seen that in rajasthan we you see absolutely right 
that if Sachin Pilot and Ashok Gelod are seen even as, as on the eve of election to be taking on each other on, it's not going to work for the Congress. Uh, for you need all hands on deck. Plus, just to correct you down, I didn't say Congress has the momentum. No, come, I still me. believe BJP is in pole position. The Congress is in a better position today than it was a year ago. Shaz, That's actually, all I'm saying. First of all, we are seeing how DK and BK Hari Prasad and Sidramaya are working together along with the 30... Please not interrupt. With the 30 I'm talking about pre-election. Uh, pre-election, post-election, and we are seeing how development work has been stopped by DK Shukumar. Uh, another thing is that today, one thing is very clear, that the election in in Rajasthan is primarily, primarily because Ashok Gelot has not delivered to the youth. The law and order situation has affected the Dalits and women the most. And one cylinder is not going to change that for the women of Rajasthan. The statements that have come from the Rajasthan leaders, including Shanti Dhariwal and Ashok Gelot himself, I have made a house in the heart of women of Rajasthan. And secondly, my dear friend Rajdeep, I am writing this on 28th of July. If Congress gets more than 40 seats, you hold this up to me. So, Congress is less Shazad than 40 seats. copying from Arvind Kejriwal. Yeah. Congress Bebo is less than 40 seats. Yeah, right. okay. Congress is less than 40 yeah, go ahead, Raul Shivasta. I, I want to make a point here. See, paper, paper nahi see Congress less there than is a huge seats. difference, Rajdi, between the BJP and the Congress when you talk about infighting. The Congress infighting is a very serious business. That's right. Sachin Pilot versus Gelot. Now, in both the parties, there will be a tussle by the local leaders to see their men, more of them, get the tickets. In Rajasthan, the failure of the high command to assert itself means Gehloth will actually walk away with more number of seats as far as Rajasthan is concerned. Will the two Gujaratis in Delhi allow that to happen in Rajasthan? Can it happen in BJP that Vasundra will walk away with majority seats? No. That's where lies the difference. Both the people we are talking about will be fighting for number of seats they get they can sure, give to their not, men no, I agree. but in bjp you cannot do what you can do in congress rajdeep no i agree and, and that's it's why not the just BJP that it's not advantage. just that when i mentioned that there were two phases to gelot's leadership if you remember rahul post 2020 there was dramatic change in the entire organization of the congress was put into uh, some kind of comatose all the district chiefs were removed dissolved various committees were dissolved they've only come now in july to appointing new committee members the bjp does not have the BJP does not have a strong leader to replace Vasunda Raja in my view at the moment, but the BJP has a strong organization. The Congress has a relatively popular leader in Mr. Gelot and a young leader in Sachin Pilot. They do not have the organization at the moment and they suffer from the history of a state with anti-incumbency every five years. Yashwan Deshmukh, in your reading of the data, what could change from here? What are the X factors you're looking at in Rajasthan? Well, Rahul, uh, I don't uh, see that um, things change big time when uh, uh, things are going bad for one section and, and going good for the other one. You know, uh, very dramatically things changing from here, it doesn't really happen in that way, uh, in my experience. However, uh, you know, uh, the Prime Minister's campaign is critical. That is remains to be seen. And yes, BJP tried its level best in four and a half years to give an alternative face on Vasundara Raja, but it seems... Uh, it it couldn't read successfully in in that that campaign whichever it was and uh, now we see that central leadership coming around. Okay, so I think the sum and substance of what is being said is this: that the you know the wisdom of the crowds and there is some wisdom in the wisdom of the crowds because it gives you a directional sense of what's happening. If the BJP were to project Vasundhara Rajay Sindhya as its chief ministerial face, the party is likely to fare better because then there would be the double engine effect in play. Uh, Captain Modi, Vice Captain Sindhya, and they both together could push the BJP towards a massive victory. The risk the BJP can take is they can play only on the Prime Minister's face, still cross the halfway mark, but not end up with that massive victory as they would if they had Vasundhara Rajay. The central high command not very pleased with the former Rajasthan chief minister. They would like someone new to take over. Uh, they've tried to project uh, Gajendra Shekhawat in the past. That didn't work out well with Vasundra Raja. She pushed back. So you can't disregard a factor as influential as Vasundra Raja is India. So that's now, the who, question. Do you think yes. that any Congress worker who's loyal to Sachin Pilot is going to work when Mr. Pilot has not been declared even as a CM face for this time? 
You no, really sir. think that is happening? So both those are those problems. Those people are going to vote for BJP. Now you take my word, 40 nahi milne wala hai. Sachin pilot men who rebelled may not even get tickets. Now if Gehloth manages to put his men there, is Sachin going to accept it? It's not going to happen. And see, so and, Congress and, and, has and, some and, very serious You know, Mr. Gehloth, even, even if he's losing because of various factors, including the history of anti-incumbency, he may not want to be in a situation where he completely collapses like 2011 because that's the end of his political career. So he will that's ideally true. want, he will ideally want to be at least 70, 75. He wants an honorable, if at all it is to be a defeat, it, it should be an honorable defeat because that gives him a continuing toehold in Rajasthan's politics. We've seen last time, last time what was the buzz in 2018? That the Congress didn't want a massive victory in Rajasthan because massive victory would have meant Sachin Pilot becoming Chief Minister. So you had a strange situation where the Congress just limped over the halfway mark. Factionalism remains the Congress's biggest challenge in different states. They won Karnataka because they were united. Where the Congress is united, they have more than half a chance in state elections. Where they are not, they are in Remember big trouble. Remember also the BJP in its current manifestation is able to seize an opportunity and make it big if the tailwinds are riding in their favor. So Messrs Modi, Shah and Nada will go out of their way to ensure that they can go as far up beyond the 114 mark where they stand right now. And momentum and narratives matter. In Karnataka, it seemed the Congress was winning. That seemed to help the Congress party here. As word goes out, in the state that the BJP is winning, will they pick up extra votes because of the winner's bandwagon effects? We'll track all of this very, very closely. I want to thank all our guests for joining us for what's been a fascinating hour of political conversation. Uh, we'll slip into a break. We'll be back with the political stock exchange. I hope you have a great weekend. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.